So, Charlie, it was a, a decent performance and another decent win today, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was a win. Um, I don't think we were at our, at our best. Um, certainly, out of possession, I think we've been a lot better this season. Um, and although I thought we did more than enough to win the game, on another day we could have found ourselves in a little bit of trouble. Um, first half, especially, I thought we were a little bit sloppy. Um, and although we did enough to score two goals and probably could have had a, at least a couple more, um, they also had two really good chances from against what we had to play them ourselves. So hopefully lesson learned. Um, I mean, credit to them, they obviously come a long way and it's difficult travelling the distance they do, but give it a real go um, and get us honest right till the end. But again, from our perspective, we said before the game, we've got to take care of what we do and then if we come in the dressing room at five o'clock and there's any sort of bonuses from, from elsewhere, then, then that's great. Um, and that's obviously been the case today a little bit. Um, but another win, and I suppose after the, the highs of, of two wins against Barrow today, the result was more important than a, the performance. And although we've got performance in some aspects, I think we all know we can be better than what we were. Mm -hmm. Looking as a whole, again, obviously three goals scored. It's three different goal scorers, and the goals are still being shared about, aren't they? It's not. It's 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 a, an attribute of one of your one of your sides, really. That there's goal scorers all over, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. I think. Um, if you look at the goals we have had notoriously, I mean, even since I've been managing, to be fair, I don't think I've ever had someone who's been a 30 goal a season, 40 goal a season man, close off someone like that. But I think the system, the system we play, um, allows lots of players to get forward. So to share the goals around is, is obviously a massive, a massive positive from, from my perspective. Because if we are heavily reliant on one person and then they get injured or suspended, then you leave yourself in a bit of a hole. Um, I think it's been good that centre half's obviously got in there as well. Josh is his, that's his Josh's third, Tom's got two. I think for them as centre half, you probably both look to maybe get five. Um, and as it happens, um, Tom is probably the more the more dominant one in the air, and he's the one that um, you'd think may have more. But at this time of the season, but things have fell to Josh in the box, and um, thankfully he's stuck him away as he, as he did today. So, no, like I said, really positive. Um, I mean, I'll take our attention away from the league a little bit and look forward to a, a really good couple of FA Trophy tie um, here next weekend. Obviously it's, it's an FA Trophy tie, it's against a team that are in a higher division but looking at the tables there's only one place separating the two sides. It'll be an interesting one won't it I think, it yeah. should be should fancy yourself shouldn't it? Yeah we do, obviously we're playing well and um, but I'm also aware that the jump between the division we've just come from, come to, is, is a lot smaller than the, the, the jump between the division where we are to the conference prep. Um, so it's a tough division. Um, so I went to Telford's game, I went to the replay when we played Chester um, and we're, we're value for winning that game. Although Chester started the game first 20 25 minutes really well and, and probably could have been out of sight. From that, from that stage on, Telford deserves to win. Um, but obviously, a new manager got in there, I know Steve Well. Um, so it's been to an awful lot, he knows what we're about because he's probably watched us on as many times this season as, as any other side. Um, so he'll know what, what what to expect. He knows we're in good form. Um, like I say, it's, it's a composition that um, is, is a good one. And the fact that we get the opportunity to test ourselves against teams from higher divisions. Um, and again, as we've said in there, you're not many wins away from Wembley, which is a, as a non-league footballer is something that um, you won't get the opportunity to do very, very often. So. It's a game we're looking forward to. It's somewhat a game that we can we can go and enjoy, um, and then concentrate on what is a, a really tough league schedule for the, for the rest of January. And mm -hmm. um, looking back at today, obviously Tom had to be substituted with a slight knock. Is there anything serious? In no, that? just fortunately enough, it's just a bang on the head. Um, <laughs> so he's got a bit of a cartoon bump, but I can deal with him. Um, he'll he'll be fine, and I'm sure he'll he'll train Tuesday. Um, mm -hmm. It's a tough one as when when players go down straight away. You want to know what's what's the problem. Um, you sort of deal with kicks, whether that be in the head, in the knee, whatever it might be, because you tend to recover them quite quickly. Obviously, twists and things are a little bit um, a little bit more difficult. But we said before the game, you look at our squad. Our squad's the strongest it's been now since the start of the season. We've players coming back. The bench today was really. Although the lads we've got on there haven't played a lot of football. When you've got a bench that contains sort of Potts, Michael Barnes, Mike Blinkhorn, Luke Denson, and Josh Wilson, um, it's as a manager, it's great. It's it's what we what we strive for, and we've obviously still 
young lads there on Joey, Corey, who haven't been involved today, young Ryan. So, like I say, we're in a good place um, injury wise. We just need to make sure the lads we've got on there we get back up to match fitness. Um, and when we do that, we'll have massive competition for places. And we're coming into a time of the season where over Christmas you have a lot of games, but the way things have been, I think we've got six, maybe five or six league games in January. Um, which are going to be massively important to us. Mm -hmm. Obviously, coming back from injury was Blinks made his what actually is his first home game appearance this season, isn't it? And Josh Wilson's come back after a couple of games out. And injury situations are improving, then, like you said, aren't they? Yeah, it's it, it's obviously important we get them back. Um, if we can use situations like we are today, where the game's sort of not over, but we've got a long way to secure it, and we can get them on and get them proper competitive minutes then great, um, it's obviously difficult um, but they've been training and um, we'll ease them back in gradually, I mean as, as it is we're not in a position where we have to we have to force anything, we've got uh, a squad of players that are, are playing well and lads who've been in there have done, have done good jobs so um, yes we want them back as quickly as possible but we also want to be realistic and we don't want to force, force anything, um, I suppose in an ideal world today um, without sort of Tom going off, we potentially have got Barnsley on as well, just to get him some minutes in his legs. But we were forced into it at a change, bringing Luke on to, to, as a straight swap for the centre half. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd love to get more minutes, but obviously we're, we're limited as to what substitutions we can make. Um, we've just got to make sure that we get as much out of them training this week, um, and then we'll have a we'll have a look at what we're we'll do next Saturday against Telford. Thanks, and well done, chat, and good luck for next week.